my outfit of the week that's coming up. Hello fashion sewers, I hope you are well. If you're new to my channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee. And if you enjoy my what I wear during the week, consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell in order to receive notifications of when I upload. And let's get started. Good morning or afternoon or evening, wherever it is, whichever part of the world you are. And this is what I'm wearing today. I had a change of mind, this is what I was going to wear today. But it's such a glorious day. It's, it's, it, the sun is just shining, it feels like a nice spring summer day. So I decided to go lightweight. So I'm wearing this jumper and it's nice and fluffy. The texture of it. Like a waffle weave and it's kind of hairy. So it's nice and soft, it's lovely. It's off white and kind of creamy colour and the pants, yes I've made those, these pants and it's also a, um, a cream colour as well. So it's just a simple dress code for today and I'm wearing a cream bangle and also this choker pendant style necklace and I didn't go for any earrings because I was like I wasn't sure what to wear when it came to my earrings, but I'm fine with that. And the bag that I'm going for is this one. And I'm wearing some boots, my ankle boots, which are got the toes cut away, so it's my spring summer <laughs> shoe footwear that I'm wearing. So ankle boots, that's fine because hopefully it's gonna be no rain today. So yeah, that is my outfit for today. So my pants, so it has belt loops and it has a fly front. So I do have a, a video tutorial on both these techniques on doing belt loops and also a fly front and I'll link that in the description below. So yeah, there's no pockets, I'll put any pockets on these, I just wanted to be dream line and plus because it's cream you can always tend to see all the lining and detailing within the pants and it's lightweight fabric so yeah I'll show you my uncle boots twos Sleeves. Just look at these sleeves. They are gorgeous. It's a cardigan that I've had for a while and I just love the sleeves. Oh, even though I've got four shoulders, um, I don't mind them being, you know, making my shoulders even bigger. I just love this style. It just feels comfortable. It's comfortable to wear and yeah, I just love it. So it's this cardigan and I'm wearing it with black straight cropped, slightly cropped pants and it has a hip pocket on it which I will show you. So there's my hip pocket. And I do have a, a video tutorial on how to sew hip pockets but I think it is a curved shape, so it's curved. And it doesn't matter if it's curved, the technique is exactly the same no matter what shape this is. So this is at an angle and the one that I did in a video at all is curved. It could be any shape, it could be scalloped, it could be even round shape, it doesn't matter. The technique will be exactly the same. So these are the pants and I'm wearing it with black ankle boots and this bag. Nice shaped bag, put it that way. And I've belted it in 
with an elasticated belt. Ooh. There we go. Elasticated belts are great belts to have in your wardrobe. They just fit snugly. They do feel comfortable. You can breathe. No matter how much you eat, you can, yeah, it sticks with you. <laughs> Doesn't make you feel uncomfortable. They're great little um, belts to have. I've got, I've got, yeah, I've got a few. <laughs> and yeah. So that is my outfit for today. I decided to wear all black today. So I've got needle, needle cord jeans. Um, I did make those. Um, this shirt is a refashioned project and I do have a video of tutorial for that if you're looking to size down on a man's shirt and this little short sleeve cardigan is um, I didn't make that either but I did refashion it slightly because you can really see that it doesn't have any buttons or buttonholes on it so it's just straight down and it's got short sleeves and but I didn't like the way it it was hanging on my body and I don't think it's just anybody's body type really because it's knit and as you know with knit it curls back on itself so it's doing that quite a lot and even though I just love the texture of this knit this fluffy knit I really do love the texture of I've got a few card things you probably saw on Mondays and that's similar kind of um, weave as well and with this one it was just straight down so what I did was, is that I just hemmed, crossed it over and just um, hand stitched it, the rib section down. So I've got this kind of draping effect and just let the cardigan do what it needs to do, you know, without forcing it or anything like that. So it's just falling the way it wants to. I'll come a bit closer, you can see that, you know, it's falling into itself. And it's going to do that just because it's a knit and a knit curls because when you knit, knits are, are, is a loop and um, so it does what it wants to do so yeah I'm happy with that. So yeah it's cute and I've got my long sleeve shirt on with a custom back and I followed that through with my pants as well. You have seen these needle cord pants which are black and I just turned up the bottom to kind of create a cup just to follow through with my sleeves and I've got a little bit of dainty jewellery on which I uh, do have a small selection I'm kind of like a big jewellery girl and um, so yeah I do have a few dainty pieces but that's just following through with my clutch so I've got a patent clutch yeah you can see that and I'm following through with that on my shoes so I'll show you that in a minute so this is what I'm wearing today. I just want to say one more thing before I take the camera down is that I've been asked a question in my comments of whether or not I just pull out from my wardrobe what I'm going to wear for the day or do I plan it? And I actually do plan for the week of what I'm actually going to wear. Um, I'm pretty confident about when I do start to plan it, it's the first three days. And I've kind of always been like that. Um, and I must admit, since I've been doing my YouTube tutorials, well, not really tutorials, or what I wear during the week, I've made sure I've kind of done it for the whole week. And I find it much more easier in the sense that I can make sure that I'm wearing all my clothing, because I think that's important, especially in the times that we are living in now that um, you know we are wearing all our clothes and I know because I do and I have done a lot of teaching and um, it's part of my job so to speak so I don't feel any kind of guilt with the amount of clothes that I do have um, and it really isn't that big at least I don't think so anyway but um, I enjoy sharing it with you because I hope what I am doing will inspire you to refashion or to sew a garment from scratch and I'll always be wearing refashion projects um, obviously what I've um, designed, patterned and sewn and I'll always make sure I kind of make, 
show that I'm wearing that kind of combination to my outfit. Um, but as far as buying, going out, that is very minimal. It always has been because I've always loved making my own clothes. So going back to the question that I, yeah, I do kind of plan for the week, but like Monday, I did change that outfit because just because of the weather. So the weather also plays a factor into what you're going to wear during the week. And in England, when you get the sun, oh, you definitely want to get out these summer type garments and definitely wear them because you just don't know when the sun's going to come back out. So yeah, I'm kind of prepared for when Britain has a bit of sunshine and I think all Brits are anyway. So yeah. So um, thank you for your questions, if you have any questions that you want to ask me, um, please put those in the comments and yeah, and I'll see you tomorrow. Today I'm in a suit. I didn't make this suit though. I refashioned the jacket. So the jacket is a cape jacket. So what I did was just um, it's two piece sleeve and just opened up one of the seams in order to cape to create this cape like look. I do have a video tutorial and I'll link that in the description. So I'm wearing a grey grey suit and a grey pair of pants. The top has, it's a polo neck top that has dual collar to it and um, I just think that helps to enhance the look of a grey suit that can be a little bit boring and the bag that I've gone for is this bag. I was going to try and get a bag that went crossbody but because it is a cape, oh uh, it didn't work. <laughs> So yeah, it just has to be a bag that I can hold it in my hand. So I'll take the camera down in a moment so that you can have a look. So, this are a bit short on the corner, but it doesn't matter. So this is the jacket and you can see the lining and as you can see as I'm opening my arms, it's creating the cake-like effect. Turn around. It really is a nice look to a jacket. I probably do this to all my jackets. I just love the look. And I've got a straight leg pants on. And I'm wearing my own boots. So that is my look for today. So my last outfit of the week is about keeping warm. Um, it's, it's a damp day, but the sun's out, but it is cold, it is cold. So I've got two knitwears on, so I've got a black polar neck in there and this oversized grey jumper which has a really wide, kind of like a funnel there rather than a polo neck and I'm wearing some black jewellery and some grey pants and um, the pants, yes I have made those and these are bootleg pants so they're loose fitting and um, I will be wearing gloves to keep my hands warm. So thank you for these gloves. So I've got a, <laughs> I do have a small collection of gloves um, and um, I've been teased about wearing gloves over the years and it's kind of like my trademark um, that I always wear gloves when it comes to winter. And I love gloves and I don't like my hands being cold. So yeah, I'm wearing gloves today. It really suits my outfit and I'm also wearing a black belt. So the pants that I have are, and let me just show you the waistline. See these are my grey pants so I don't have a waistband so it's a waist facing but I put a broad belt, let me just take these gloves off, on like so and this, this belt's got a little bit of a stretch to it and I've just put the belt on just like that. It will stay in place because it's a very broad belt 
and I haven't put it, it's kind of loose so I haven't tightened it. So um, to make sure it stays in position. So yes. Um, let me put my gloves back on so I can show you how the outfit goes together. So those are the gloves. The sleeves are quite long so my hands will be just peeping through like so. And I have this bag and I'm going to put that cross body like so. So it's all teaming up with black and I've got black footwear on and I'll put my back my back towards my back because it's comfortable um, being at the back. I don't want it to interfere with what I'm wearing at the front. Putting it at the front. As you can see my neck, black necklace. And because it's a little bit oversized, it's, it can be a bit awkward here. But that doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. It's all about how you feel to a certain extent. And if you're comfortable with that, then that's fine. As you can see, my belt. Fire's tip is all about dressing your mood. And we don't really talk about dressing our mood, and I think it's a very important thing to do. I've done a lot of research recently regarding body shapes and body types and no one really talks about your moods and it's such an important factor when you are dressing yourself and dressing your mood is all about how you feel for that day so you may have an outfit really prepared um, and if you haven't that's also okay and dressing your mood could be about dressing a certain colour in order to lift your mood or it could be a certain style for example um, Monday I dressed in cream and um, it wasn't necessarily yes it was it was a mood you know why it was a mood because the sun was out and it just lifts you to another level because in England you know it can be quite grey a lot of times and your mood can be lifted by just wearing a colour and yeah I suppose I was a little bit more happier if you like and yes I do believe it lifted my spirits to a certain extent also consider the shape of garment that you want to wear perhaps you know for, i for example would wouldn't wear or be told wouldn't suit my body shape is wearing high waisted pants or skirt and that's because i've got a short torso and long legs and it's all about when you're dressing but it's not really all about it's really about you um but i'm going to sit with all of it's all about finding proportions that will make you feel happy in what you're wearing. So I shouldn't really be wearing high waisted because I want to balance out the um, the length of my legs to my torso and keep it balanced. But rules are made to be broken in this case definitely so. So it is a case of that I will wear some high waisted and maybe that will change my mood and because psychologically you know that what you're being told is that it doesn't suit your body shape. But if it suits you in your mind, wear it. It's fine. Just wear it. It's okay. If you get any criticism, criticisms, this head stays up high. Keep your head up high. Don't listen. If you get compliments, then thank people, of course. And yeah. I hope you've enjoyed this week's outfits and if you have please do give it a thumbs up and please do share and I will see you next week.